the most significant anomaly associated with this object continues to be the anti-tail, the strange and unprecedented anti-tail that's been pointing at the sun this whole time. And now the 3i Atlas has three jets, not just two. And these jets have an interesting sort of symmetry associated with them, a symmetry that Avilobe has finally taken note of. The latest Hubble Space Telescope images of 3i Atlas reveal a system of jets that are unexpectedly structured and highly organized. When the object was first detected, it was classified as another interstellar body passing through the solar system at high speed, briefly activated by solar heating before returning to interstellar space. That interpretation was consistent with previous visitors. However, as higher resolution observations accumulated and the images were reprocessed, the morphology of the outflow began to stand out. Instead of irregular, evolving plumes typical of cometary activity, the jets associated with 3i Atlas display persistent geometry and symmetry. What initially appeared to be ordinary outgassing now appears to follow a constrained and repeatable pattern, raising questions about the physical processes governing the object's behavior. At large scales, the object still presents a familiar face. A prominent jet extends away from the sun, stretching roughly 100,000 kilometers into space. This anti-solar plume is the kind of feature astronomers expect when volatile material heats up and escapes from the surface of an icy body. If this were all that was visible, 3i Atlas might have remained an interesting but ultimately conventional case study in interstellar cometary physics. Yet as attention shifted inward toward the region closer to the nucleus, the story changed. Within roughly 24,000 kilometers of the central body, the images reveal three narrow jets emerging with striking clarity. They are not randomly spaced, nor do they fan out irregularly as sublimation-driven flows often do. Instead, they are separated by angles that are nearly identical, dividing the surrounding space into three equal sectors of approximately 120 degrees each. This is not the kind of geometry typically produced by patchy ice deposits or fractured terrain. Nature can produce symmetry, but it usually does so imperfectly, with distortions that betray the randomness of underlying processes. Here, the symmetry is clean enough to raise eyebrows. Rotation offers a partial explanation, but only a partial one. Measurements indicate that 3i Atlas rotates roughly once every 16 hours. That rotation could plausibly account for short-term changes in the appearance of the smaller jets as different active regions turn toward or away from the sun. It does not, however, explain the persistence and coherence of the main jet. Over time, that dominant plume remains tightly collimated, maintaining its orientation across enormous distances. For this to happen naturally, the object's rotation axis would need to remain aligned with the direction of sunlight to within a few degrees. The odds of such an alignment arising by chance are exceedingly small, on the order of a few tenths of a percent. Alignment can happen. Sustained alignment, combined with such structural precision, is far harder to dismiss. What makes the geometry even more intriguing is its stability. The threefold pattern does not collapse as the object moves along its trajectory. Individual features shift, brighten, or fade, but the overall arrangement remains intact. The system behaves as though it is flexible but constrained, capable of variation without losing its underlying order. This is not how most cometary outgassing behaves, where jets flicker unpredictably as surface conditions change. Instead, the pattern suggests a global organization, as if the object's activity were governed by a deeper symmetry embedded within its structure. These jet patterns would already be remarkable on their own, but they do not exist in isolation. Long before the latest images drew attention to the object's internal geometry, 3i Atlas was already considered unusual based on its motion alone. It travels on a retrograde trajectory, moving opposite to the direction of the planets. More striking still, that trajectory is aligned to within about 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, the same plane in which the planets orbit the Sun. The likelihood of an interstellar object arriving with that specific orientation by chance is extremely low. Interstellar space is vast, and objects arriving from it should display a wide range of inclinations. This one does not. 
Its arrival direction adds another layer of improbability. The path it followed into the solar system closely matches the direction of the famous WOW signal, a brief and unexplained radio signal detected decades ago. The alignment is not exact, but it falls within roughly 9 degrees. On its own, this coincidence would mean little. In the context of other low-probability alignments, it becomes harder to ignore, another thread woven into an already strange tapestry. As 3i Atlas approached the Sun, it displayed behavior that further strained conventional models. Most comets produce tails that stream away from the Sun, shaped by solar radiation pressure and the solar wind. In some cases, perspective effects can create the illusion of a sunward-pointing feature. In this case, however, careful analysis indicates that the sunward jet is real. It appears both before and after perihelion, ruling out simple geometric explanations. Producing a sustained jet that points toward the sun requires a mechanism capable of overcoming intense radiation pressure, something standard sublimation struggles to accomplish. Energy considerations deepen the puzzle. Jets are observed not only in the sunward direction, but also away from the sun, simultaneously. To drive such activity through heating alone would require an improbably large active surface area, far larger than what is inferred from the object's size. The mass flux implied by the jets exceeds what reasonable sublimation models can support. This does not make a natural explanation impossible, but it pushes it toward increasingly contrived scenarios. The jets also display an unusual degree of collimation. Rather than spreading out and diffusing as they travel, they remain narrow and well-defined across distances approaching a million kilometers. Maintaining such coherence over that scale is difficult even in controlled laboratory conditions, let alone in the harsh and variable environment of interplanetary space. Whatever is producing these jets appears capable of directing material with remarkable precision. Timing adds yet another dimension to the mystery. The object's arrival in the inner solar system coincided with close approaches to multiple planets. It passed within tens of millions of kilometers of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, distances small in astronomical terms. At the same time, its trajectory was such that it became unobservable from Earth during perihelion, the moment when solar heating and activity would be expected to peak. Whether this timing is coincidence or consequence remains an open question, but the alignment is striking. The upcoming encounter with Jupiter is particularly noteworthy. Projections indicate that 3i Atlas will pass Jupiter at a distance of approximately 53.6 million kilometers. That number is remarkable because it is almost identical to Jupiter's hill radius, the region within which the planet's gravitational influence dominates over that of the Sun. Encounters that skim this boundary are rare. The hill radius is also a region of dynamical interest, where objects can be captured or influenced with relatively small changes in velocity. The closeness of this match raises questions about whether the encounter is simply fortuitous or dynamically meaningful. Physical properties of the object itself further complicate the picture. Estimates suggest that the nucleus of 3i Atlas is several orders of magnitude more massive than those of previous interstellar visitors, such as 1i Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. Despite this greater mass, it is moving faster than both. Interstellar space does not contain an abundance of such large bodies, and models struggle to explain how objects of this size could be delivered to the inner solar system with such frequency. The implication is not necessarily that the object is artificial, but that it may not be a random sampling of the interstellar population. The composition of the material escaping from the object adds one of the most provocative pieces of evidence. Spectroscopic analysis of the gas plume reveals an unusually high concentration of nickel relative to iron. In known comets, iron typically dominates, with nickel present only in trace amounts. Here, the ratio is reversed. Even more striking is the nickel to cyanide ratio, which exceeds that of all known comets by orders of magnitude. Such ratios are more reminiscent of industrially produced nickel alloys than of primordial ice and dust. While there may be exotic natural processes capable of producing such chemistry, none are currently well established. Near perihelion, the object exhibited non-gravitational acceleration, deviating slightly from the path predicted by gravity alone. Non-gravitational forces are not unusual for comets. 
asymmetric outgassing can act like a weak thruster. In this case, however, the magnitude and direction of the acceleration add to an already crowded list of anomalies. When considered alongside the jet geometry, energy requirements, and compositional oddities, the explanation becomes increasingly strained. What makes 3i Atlas so compelling is not any single feature, but the way these features reinforce one another. Symmetry in the jets might be dismissed as coincidence if the object's orbit were unremarkable. An unusual orbit might be tolerated if the object's activity were chaotic and familiar. Chemical anomalies might be written off as rare if the dynamics were otherwise mundane. Instead, each new piece of data seems to echo the same theme, improbability layered upon improbability. This accumulation forces a reevaluation of assumptions. If 3i Atlas is a natural object, then it represents a class of phenomena that current models do not adequately describe. It would imply that interstellar space can produce bodies with a degree of internal organization and compositional peculiarity far beyond what has been observed so far. It would mean that the solar system has been visited by something that sits at the extreme edge of natural variability. On the other hand, if the object's behavior reflects some form of non-natural origin, the implications are profound. The tightly controlled jets, the sustained alignment, the energy budget, and the timing of planetary encounters could be interpreted as signs of purposeful activity. Such an interpretation remains speculative and controversial, and extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. At present, the evidence is suggestive rather than conclusive. What cannot be denied is that 3i Atlas occupies a gray zone. It is neither comfortably explained nor easily dismissed. Its jets trace lines of near-perfect geometry across space. Its path through the solar system seems improbably well aligned. Its chemistry challenges expectations. Each observation alone might be survivable. Together, they form a pattern that resists simplification. As the object continues its journey and approaches its encounter with Jupiter, opportunities for further observation may help clarify the picture. Whether future data will resolve the anomalies into a coherent natural explanation or deepen the mystery remains to be seen. For now, 3i Atlas stands as a reminder that the universe still holds surprises capable of unsettling even our most confident models, and that sometimes the most disturbing discoveries are not those that shout their strangeness, but those that whisper it through perfect, silent symmetry.